Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to see that what is the Smith number and the C++ code to check if a number is Smith number or not. So what is a Smith number? A Smith number is a composite number whose sum of digits is equal to the sum of digits in its prime factorization. So if the number is 6, then its prime factorization will be 2, 3 and the sum will be 2 plus 3 which will be equal to 5. So as this sum is not equal to the sum of digits of the original number, so 6 is not a Smith number. Example if the number is 666, then its prime factorization will be 2, 3, 3 and 37. And the sum of these prime factors will be uh, 18, which will be equal to the sum of the digits of the original number. So 666 is a Smith number. So this is the code of the problem. In this we have a function SOD that will return the sum of digits of a number. Actually this is only a part of the code that will be used in the data part of the code. Uh, we have a variable sum in this function that is initialized with 0. This will be used to store the sum of the digits. We have a while loop uh, with the condition n is not equal to 0. In this we have a variable sum uh, that is initialized with sum plus n mod 10 then the value of n is updated to n by 10 uh, this will remove the last digit of the number n after this while loop is over we are returning the value sum now let us see the dry run if the number is 666 then as n is not equal to 0 so we will enter into this while loop then the value of s will be 0 plus 6 this will be equals to 6 then the value of n will be updated to 66 as n is not equal to 0 so the value of s will be updated uh, by this as 6 plus 6 which will be equal to 12 then the value of n will again be updated to 6 then as uh, n is not equal to 0 now also so we will enter into this while loop then the value of s will be 12 plus 6 this will be 18 then the next iteration the value of n will become 0 so we will not enter into this loop and finally 18 will be returned by this sod function so this is the main code of the problem. In this we have a function ismith that will return 1 if the number is smith and 0 if the number is not smith. So we have a variable s that is initialized with 0. This will be used to store the sum of the prime factors of the number. We have a variable t that is used to temporarily store the value of n. Then we have a while loop that will uh, add 2 to the sum uh, as many times as uh, 2 will be the factor of the original number. So we have a while loop with the condition n mod 2 equal equals to 0. Then we are adding 2 to the sum and updating the value of n to n by 2. Then we have a for loop that is starting from 3 and will go on till t by 2 and the value of i is updated by i plus 2. Within this loop we have another while loop uh, with the condition n mod i is equal equal to 0 and within this loop we are updating the value of s by s plus sum of digits of i. So in this we are passing the value of i to the function sum of digits that will return as the sum of digits of i. Then we are updating the value of n to n by i and after this whole loop is over the value of s will be updated. So this for loop will basically generate all the prime factors of the number n other than 2 and we are incrementing the value of i by 2 as the prime factors can only be odd. So after the for loop we have this part of the code that will ensure that the given number is composite as uh, a smith number is always composite. So we have a condition if n is greater than 2 or s is not equals to sum of digits of t then we are returning 0 else we are returning 1. So basically this condition that is n greater than 2 ensures that the number is composite as uh, if the number would have been prime for example if the number would have been 13 then the value of n would have been 13 at the last so uh, n would have been greater than 2 and 0 would have been returned by this ismith function at the last so this is a dry run of the code if n equals to 666 then the value of t would have been equal to 666 and uh, Within this while loop, this condition would be would have been checked that uh, if 666 mod 2 is equal equal to 0, so this is true. 
then the value of s uh, will be update, updated by 0 plus 2 this will be equals to 2 then the value of n will be updated to 333 uh, then we will enter into this for loop which is starting from 3 so uh, this is check that if 333 mod 3 is equal to equal to 0 which is true so s is updated by 2 plus sum of digits of 3 so s will be 5 then the value of n is updated to uh, 333 divided by 3 so n will be 111 then uh, s equals to 5 plus 3 as 111 mod 3 is equals to 0 in this case also so s will be 8 this time then the value of n will be equals to 37 then the value of i uh, will update to 5 then it will be updated to 7 so this condition will not be true until the value of i is equals to 37 so when i equals to 37 then we will enter into this loop and uh, the value of s will be updated to 8 plus sum of digits of 37 which is equals to 8 plus 3 plus 7 so this will come out to be 18 so after this the value of n will be 37 divided by 37 so which will be equal to 1 so finally we will uh, come out of this for loop so after this for loop the value of n will be 1 then this condition is checked that if n is greater than 2 which is false in this case or s is not equal to sum of digits of t which is also not true in this case as sum of digits is equals to s in, in this case so 1 is returned by this ismith function so we get to know that uh, 666 is a smith number so i hope you understood the working of this code and thank you for watching this video please leave us your comments